Hey everyone, Wonderbot here and welcome to Farlanders. I checked the demo out for this a long time ago and I thought it was kind of neat. It reminds me of the old Outpost games. And so we're just going to dive in on free play. Do we want Pioneers of Caves Arch Agriculture, Utopia Resort, or First Metropolis on Mars? I like this scenario. Sounds kind of fun. Select a difficulty. 20 hydroponic farms. Okay, let's just see how this goes. I used to play a silly amount of... Um, of Outpost 2 as a kid. I tried playing Outpost 1, but I never got that far in it. I think I never bring the right right materials, and so all my people would starve, like, up on the rocket before I was done putting together my base, which was oops, but whatever. Okay. Oh, you know the one problem with this? I don't know how to... I don't entirely know what I'm doing. Time to find out, or something. Okay, so we got a base. Can be built on ground, sand, or that. Production, power water, food, other stuff. So I think this is just kind of my general starting point. This area is a little dicey. Uh, and there's something, an anomaly over there that I might want to mess around with. But I think we want to be kind of here-ish. Because I think we're going to need access to water if I'm going to be able to survive. So we'll set that up and I'll make it work. I don't remember if this is turn-based or not. I think it, I think it is turn-based. Construction cost... Requires power lines, pipes, passage. Uh, let's see. Costs some power. I'm just going to put it there. So water and agriculture. Okay, water condenser. Uh, let's see, where's my... F Wait, no. Greenhouse. It can only be built on that. Oh. Okay, so I cannot put it there. Oh, it can only be... Oh, it can only be built there. Condenses and collects water from the Martian atmosphere. Nearly all of the water on the planet is in ice form. So, I guess I can get uh, resources from some of these. Let's take a look. So, we have a landing platform. Cargo ships can land. Production. We have a factory. Can be built on. Requires power lines. Produces. Dehydrates adjacent fertile soil. Yeah, that's what it is. There are different, uh, there are different little bonuses and minuses to some of these things. Uh, let's see. So, wind turbine. Gets development from nearby... I think it even gets bonuses from rocks. Oh, this is some fertile land, too. I think I can get rid of a lot of stuff to make it work. Yeah, wrong terrain. Like, right here is a pretty good spot for that for the time being. Cables, tunnels, other things. But I know we're going to need food. We're currently gaining a little bit. Objective, 20 hydroponic farms. I know. I know there's a way to get more. And my people are going to get very cranky if I do this. What does it need to be put on? Ah. Can only be put on this. Ooh. That's kind of rough, though. Let's see. Do we just kind of deal with it? Because we were gaining food, we might lose a little bit from the population, but I don't think this house is full anyway. So yeah, why don't we take a turn? Ten new colonists are looking for a home, we don't have enough houses. Morale is low. Okay, oh! Do I need to have exactly... I see. I need a, another house. I thought for a sec- uh, I thought the way this was going to work, I'd actually be able to get a, a second, but no dice. Um, okay, so turn four, we get ten people and a terraform tile, so we can't do anything else with that for the moment. It requires sunlight and some time, so I'm going to put that there. Hopefully this is already connected, because I think if you just jam these together, it, it counts. Yeah, so these are already connected. Uh, let's see, use save and recycle terraforms in the main slot. Oh, here we go. So we have different terraforming things that we can do. Uh, that will change how this map works. Cannot terraform because of base. Let's see, I'm gonna do that? That gets us some water, but nothing else. Yeah. I might, I might fail. I'll have to figure this one out. Okay, and I don't think there's anything else I can do at the moment. 
At least my... Oh, yeah. We don't have any people. What? Oh. I'm a dingus. I actually do need the landing pad. <laughs> of course I need the landing pad. Why wouldn't I need the landing pad? All right, now we get some people. So now people live here, which means uh, we're going to run into some food issues, but we've got a colony level up. So spend science to learn new technologies to unlock new buildings modules. Extra slot for terraforming storage. Recycle unwanted terraforming storages for TerraTech and some other stuff. Here we go. Okay, so first and foremost, we have a TNT that would let me blow some things up. This would let me fix some of the terrain. I was hoping... Well... I mean, we could get rid of the sand if we wanted to. This would put a lot of holes in everything, which gets dicey. Uh, this isn't bad. I guess there's no, no immediate difference, but still. Okay. So my power's still not connected, but we don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, how do we research? Technology tree and colony info. Okay, tech tree. Scouting. Uh, anomaly research camp scanner. Energy conservation. Reinforced power lines. Solar panels. And then water extraction. I think we want to go this direction because I'm going to want to head towards farming utilities. Because I need the ground hydrator. Otherwise, we're not going to have nearly enough food to do what I want to do. So, let's take a look at some of the tech that we've picked up. So we have the Ground Hydrator. Consumes one power and eight water. Uh, can be, be built on these and it creates fertile soil. It's a little rough though, so we might actually want to just build... So we have a food silo. We might want to just build our first greenhouse over here, where we actually have some fertile soil to begin with. And what does this do? So, cost power gives us extra food storage. That's kind of nice. Let's see, water pump can be built on that, gets us 32 water. Ah, uh, but it makes it so nearby fertile soil. Oh, but these are frozen, permanent ice. And in shadows, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that. But for now it's fine. How are we doing on food? Because I could do a food storage, it might cost me some power. But that might not be too bad. Okay, and power lines. There we go. Ah, because this doesn't have any. And no tunnel connection. Oh. <laughs> I can't do anything about it because that stuff's in the way. Okay. So I guess we're just going to have to wait for the next terraform. Question is, do we get more people? No. I'll be fine without. But we do need the terraform. That'll work. What does this do? So this is gonna... This is going to... Ooh. Little... Little spicy. I don't think I like that. And we do also have TNT. But no, that turns everything into rock. I don't remember how to get rid of those. Let's see, do we have a hole? I don't know if you can TNT a hole more. Yeah, I don't th I don't think we want any of those. So I can put a mountain here. Oh. Yeah, so I think it's no that that water is just fine. Weird. If I put that there, no, it'll destroy my greenhouse. I can't get rid of the mountains without TNT. But can I do that? Okay. So it doesn't help me too much, but at least I can put some tunnels here. And then we need a water pipe. There. Okay, so now we have a greenhouse, we're gaining food, we are low on power. 
But I got some power lines and plenty of material, so I'll just put that down for the time being. And we don't have enough power storage for anything else anyway. So electronics... Do we see how much science I have? Nothing. Because there should be a number next to it. So is this a turn-based or RTS? Turn-based. Okay, still can't get any people, but it's fine. So this creates a bunch of mountains, which is iffy. That'll clear some stuff out, but I'm not sure if it's what I want. Hold up. Okay, so... Ugh. I don't think that's going to do anything. That'll clear, like, a little bit. Oh, wait. If I do this, it fills that in, so we can get rid of the holes at least. Now, do we want some more people? I think we do, actually. At this point, I could probably get another habitat. Let's just do two. We'll have to worry about food. Uh, we, do <laughs> we do have this over here, but getting to it is going to be a doozy. Uh, let's see. Anything else? There's the water tank if I want to boost my storage, but eh. There is also the ice condenser. And yes, I could get a, another ground hydrator. That's just kind of expensive, and I'm, I'm sure there's some ways to terraform better. Okay, so let's take the people. This is going to cost us some water? Or does it just cost food and nothing more? Okay, so let's take a look at this, because now we're losing... A uh, stupid amount of water, power, and other things. Oh. Oh. So this needs two holes and a water. But this is what I'm looking for. Because if I can melt the water, we suddenly get land worth something. Oh, and the water counts as a whole. That's interesting. I can save or I can recycle. I think I'm going to save that one. Wait, how does saving work? I guess, okay. I guess I'm just kind of misinterpreting some of these things. Because, yeah, what else do we have? Because the other thing I could do... Oh, no, this requires a mountain. It's not going to raise one. Okay. Use save, recycle, terraforms in the main slot. What? Okay. I think I got it that time. So here's the problem. We are running very low on water and food all of a sudden because we are we are not actually ready for the amount of people that I just summoned. So we could do water tank, but that's not going to help me. There's a water pump, but that can only be built like here, and that's going to mess up my farm. Or like all the way down here, but we have no way of connecting it comfortably because there's too much stuff in the way. I think this would actually be a really good spot for it. But alas, will cause issues. So, we've got a long time before we need to worry about food. But we do need to worry about these... Some of these. Okay, so we need water pipes. So do we want to get one more? Because each gets me two. I mean, I effectively have infinite resources to invest in these things. There's no downside for it. We'll probably have to get rid of them, but at least we're getting... Oh, it cost me glass. Yeah, but I get glass for free, so we don't need to worry too much. And then if we go back to energy, I can get another one of these suckers right here for the bonus. All I have to do is just run a power line. 
There we go. Food is still a problem. But hopefully we get a good terraform uh terraform option in a turn. Uh, let's see, do we actually have more people? No. Because we haven't actually fixed it fixed any of those at the time being. Okay, colony info. No. Ah. Uh. Oh, we don't get research until we've actually, like, upgraded our colony a bunch. That's rough. Okay. So here's the question. If I go back to this, I need two holes. Oh, I see. So we have the saved and we have this. Yeah, because I... I will blow a hole in my entire setup if I, if I do this wrong. Oh, and can't destroy that because power line. Because what else... What else can I do to get access to some fertile land. I mean, option A, we do have this. It's not the best. No. It almost needs to be flipped. Because we could at least get kind of over to the right. We could build a factory. Um. Hmm. Because yeah, I was hoping to fill some things in. Luckily, there's no time limit on this. So I can take my time with it and build up as needed. Yeah, we don't have any water, though. The main thing is, this will give me the water, but we don't have the right terrain for it. Okay. So, I think my best order of business is to use that one there. And see what else I can do. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put that there for the time being. We want to be able to get over here. There's there's some water on fertile ground, and if I can take that, that becomes worth it. So the main issue is still food. Okay. All things considered, we do actually have a solution to this. It's a little pricey. But not as bad as I thought it could or would be. Okay, so that's going to cost me a stupid amount of water. But at least now we fix our food problems. Also cost me some power. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, do we want to just get another one of these right here? Solves our food pro- or our- uh, solar power issues. Then I'm just gonna burn glass until we have stasis. And then I think I'm gonna wait because I'm out of materials. And we're just gonna have to terraform for a while. Definitely love the aesthetic of this. Curious to see how it plays. It's, it's almost kind of more puzzle than settlement builder. Okay, so we get a pair of TNT. Interesting. What would I blow up? Honestly, maybe I'd blow up these rocks here. Either these rocks here or these rock. No, let's get this because there's a lot of space that I can potentially use. Yeah, we're just going to chill and let resources stack up. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of immediate 
downside to just taking my time and and build what I need. All right, so this will fill holes, but potentially add some more pro. Mm. Add some more problems. So if I do this here, that's not bad. We have a lot of rocky ground that I'm going to have to clear, but I can potentially actually build through this pretty soon. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep taking some turns until I've actually got everything set. Perfect. As awkward as it is, we can now get over here. It's going to cost me, like, a stupid amount of money, but maybe that's fine. So if I do production, reduces happiness in the area, dehydrates fertile soil, Consumes five people for power, but produces ma materials constantly. That seems worth it. Okay, and we need a tunnel connection. Not enough resources. Oops. Whatever. I will get it hooked up when I have the juice. I want no people. But I do want this. Oh, baby, that's super helpful. Okay. We are going to have to destroy some of this, but this solves some of my food problems. Namely, oh, I can turn this off and I can put it at 50%. We have a demolish and we have a duplicate. So if I do a double demolish on this one... Uh, ground hydrator. Excuse me. There we go. It is gone. Because now we can go back to water and agriculture and put a greenhouse right here. Much more comfortably. We'll want to get rid of these water condensers as well. Because we currently do not want them for any reason whatsoever. Pipes. You got it. All right. So now we're creating some pollution. So dehydrates nearby soil, and then there's that overall penalty. But otherwise, no real problems to be had. If I take a look at energy, uh, we'll have enough for at least a little bit. Here's the one thing we can do. Oh, those don't, these don't actually require power. Wow. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have destroyed those. Oh well. Okay, it's fine. Now we've got enough materials that I can actually put down another wind turbine if I want to. Uh, which I probably do. The question is where? Where's my best spot? Probably right here for the time being. We're not using that spot for anywhere else. And we're good. Let's see, and we also have this. So I can fill in two spots or... Clear that out. We might want to TNT the mountains, though. Or fill some junk in. I'm just going to fill some stuff in for the time being. I don't know how rare anything is. If I go back to water, there's the water pump. Costs a lot of materials. Oh. If active, prevents water from freezing during the winter. There's a winter? Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, so we, we just want to save enough materials that I can potentially build a water extractor, put it down here. Because that'll solve a lot of my water issues. It'll get rid of that, but who cares? That's going to take a little bit of time, but that's fine. I don't want people in my colony. I want to fill it with robots. Beautiful robots. Okay, then we need a power line. Oh, it needs reinforced pipes. Oh, at least it's just a very light linear upgrade. Okay, so now we've got stupid amounts of money, but our power situation is looking dire again. I Why do I do these things to myself? It's fine. Oh, and we also have this. 
Could also recycle them, but... We can fill these in. I don't think any of these holes are particularly useful at the moment. But we'll have to see if I can get some, um... Uh, get some more water. Okay, so we need... We need power. Ugh. Yeah? I'll just put those there. Now let's take a look. I guess the next order of business would actually be to expand my uh, greenhouse production, I think. Be gone, people. Okay, I only have six remaining workers, so we can only do so much. I'll get another greenhouse. Oh, the greenhouses actually have a synergistic effect by stacking them. So we'll probably want to get rid of these tunnels and put some more greenhouses. Oh, but I can't. Unless, of course, I get the uh, soil hydrogenator, which maybe is actually a little bit more doable than I thought. Yeah, it's kind of expensive. I'll think about it. For now, we're going to just put greenhouses along this. And what are we doing here? Yeah, that's probably the, for the best. I'll have one hole to fill in, but I'll want to set some of this up. And my only objective is 20 hydroponic farms. I wonder if they actually have to be uh, active. Probably not. Okay, so we get materials. What are these used for? TerraTech. Obtained from training, terraforming, recycling, or researching anomalies. Okay, so what else do we have? We also have bio biomatter, bacteria. Oh. Construction costs can be built on those. Requires dependent sunlight. Should be built in the area of that. Produces money and gets development from those. Bio storehouse. Oh, I should pay attention to some of these things. And then, yeah, there's the water tank. Just like a water tank is not a bad idea. Super long term. I'll put one back there just so we can actually hoard some more money. So what are these things? I think these are anomalies to check out. But we need an anomaly research camp before I can even get to them, and I do not have one of those. I don't think. Okay, do I want to get a food silo? It does cost me some power. And that is something I need to work on. I'm sorry, people. There's just no room for you in this colony. <laughs> I'm going to have... Dire problems. Okay, let's uh demolish a couple of these. Okay, so if I take a look at food, not a food silo, a greenhouse. It requires four people. But we're gonna have a shortage on people, so I'm gonna put that at half. So I guess the other thing we need to do is Get some more of these hooked up, and then, yeah, probably get some more habitats. Because I think it's time that we get some people. What else do we do here? I guess let's snag that. There we go. Because, yeah, I should, I should be able to get enough people that we can get some food. Hopefully I'll be able to scale up our farming situation at some point. Let's see, does making a 2x2 two two habitat do anything? I have no idea. Uh, why is my power situation so good? I guess it's just those extra wind turbines. Alright, so let's take 10. Morale is okay. Boy, I'm so glad that this is not real time. So, morale. 
Uh, is now a factor. I gotta make community centers, parks, and restaurants. Avoid pollution from the factory. We can trade. Buy goods from the landing platform. And sell with the trade shuttle. Take out loans, get quick cash. And we get some science. Let's take a look at the science first and foremost. Okay, so tech tree. So we've done farming. What does this get us? Moss. Credits and government subsidies for dispersing moss on Mars. Bacteria is significantly cultured. No. Terraforming tools. Converts heat generated below into energy. Uh, let's see. Martian terrain is too hostile and unstable, so we can get a ground stabilizer. And also an ice drill. So that might be useful. Let's go for the energy conversion no matter what. Glass production is something we might want to look into. Uh, let's see. I only have seven. So do I want... No, let's go for scouting for the time being. I might want to look into some of these. I'm going to save my science for the moment. What about trading? So we can... Uh, ah, get a trading platform. So we can buy and sell some of these. Oh. So I can buy more electronics, which actually is probably worthwhile. Wait, but how do I sell? Oh, trading technology to sell goods. Oh. The heck is that? Wait, did we, did we just get that? I guess not. Uh, oh, commerce. Right there. So yeah, I can buy resources if I'm running a bit low. Okay, if I turn that back on, we're good. Take a look at this. Let's work on those. I'll have to do some other things, but at least we can work on our farming using this. So we also have a solar panel. Uh, gets development from nearby solar panels and also capacitors. So to some degree, what we want to do is set up a, a big old battery array. Honestly, maybe down here, actually. Because these don't require rocks. To get boosts. Yeah, so that solves almost all of our immediate problems kind of across the board. Uh, let's see, higher voltage. Yeah, I'm just gonna upgrade my power lines here just to burn a couple of resources. And then trading post proposals will be updated. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it. So if I go back to this, underground expansion, oh. Last production, efficient housing. Where is luxury housing? Where do we where do we get parks? Community center. I see. Yeah, I want, I want the elevator. I want that bad. So we're going to get the uh, glass production one way or another. We can't do anything else because we have no research. Okay, so we got to be 60 population if I want to go further. Okay, so we can get an anomaly research camp and a scanner. But I think... I think this is specifically used underground? No, it can be just used wherever. But I think we want the Anomaly Research Camp when I get the chance. For now, though, we can also do Glass Depot. What does it require? I don't know, that just gets me... Some more. Um, Do we need 15 glass? I guess I could sell it, but... No, right now we don't need much for glass at all. Okay, so I guess our our biggest thing is just going to be getting enough people that I can... Getting enough people that I can kind of expand. Uh, I think we're doing fine, so I'll get another habitat. Is there a bonus for stacking a bunch of these? 
No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'll just get two more. We'll get some more people in two rounds. On uh, them, we'll have to panic because I'm actually low on resources. So what do we want to do here? Uh, if I put this up here, we can get this spot. Tempting. I can clear that. Oh, but we might want to... We might want to clear some of these other areas instead. Yeah, I'm going to do that, because we've got three spots that I can potentially do anomaly research on. Of course, if I had enough people. There we go. I got to get my factory going. Uh, we'll get more people next round anyway. Okay, so power's looking a little, a little spicy dicey. Do we just get another? I guess honestly, no, 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 I'm gonna keep that. We'll get another one here. Okay, power's no longer looking to be much of a problem. Martian credits. Yeah, I have no income. Nor any terror attacks. So we still need... Uh, a lot more people. How the heck am I going to feed them all? Wait, here's a question. Can I just... Okay, I can just put that there. I think I'm just going to bide my time, wait around. See, do we want to do this? Actually, yeah, this is pretty good. Because we're going to need more power. I'm just going to have solar lands down here. That's a hell of a lot of power. Perfect. Which means I can get rid of this. In the... Oh, in the shadow. There's no sunlight. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, I'll just turn it off for the time being. So I gotta get rid of those mountains. Oh, it is a solar panel level 3. But I think it's just based on the bonus of having a bunch of things surrounding it. These guys don't get any kind of... proximity bonus. Oh, what is this? Oh, those are... Those are loans. I ain't doing loans. We might have to worry about some things, though. Spend credits on terraforming sets. Landing platform is required for delivery. That will give me even more resources, plus specialists. Useful. Uh... Jeez. Right. I was gonna look into... Anomaly research camps. Okay, so. It'll research. I'm not sure what this is going to get me. It'll take four turns. Generating electricity. Top scientists. I don't know if it's going to give me research or something else. What are these? Oh, silicon. Okay, we don't want more people. And yeah, I, I can't trade anything. I could buy some stuff. But I'm leery on doing so. Okay, and that's nearly done. Okay, this is kind of big. So these random holes that I have... ...can be converted over. Do I want to have this be another farm zone? I kind of... yeah, I think so. It'll take me a little bit to terraform the area around it, but I can make a whole bunch of farms around it as well. When I get the opportunity to do so. Oh, and we can even get up here to to this, and then pretty soon maybe even up to that one. I'll probably have these two be less for farming art. No, I'll have this one be for farming.
Let's see. Now here's the other question. Maybe what I want to do. I'm going to get some food silos. Oh. Requires it. Requires it. Never mind. Let's just, uh, oh, let's get rid of this water condenser up here. That's where I'll put it. So I want to get another one of these, because it boosts the farm. Oh, it's wrong terrain. Nuts. Because, yeah, I can actually put these here to increase my overall food production. Speaking of, can I turn this on? Yes. Okay. Boost that. Food production is good. Yeah, we could get we could get some more tents here. Morale is kind of iffy, but whatever. Yeah, so how's Farlanders? It is charming. It's definitely kind of more of a zen game. But I like it. Okay, do we want a bunch of TNT? Kill some mountains? I get us holes. Or we could get this. Let's see. So that doesn't benefit me much. That really doesn't help. Uh, I can do better than that. I, think I might actually want to just put it here. Let's do that. Because this is where I can go back into this. Which levels these up. Gets me a bunch of bonuses. Um, let's get rid of that one too. And build another food sil silo. Big bonuses. Uh, let's see. And that's wrong terrain. Nuts. I could potentially get more of these. Maybe. Yeah, I have a lot of food storage. Kind of my logic is... Uh, if I get a bunch of food storage, we can just... Um... If I get a lot of food storage, I can get extra people if I want to. And not have to worry about it. Uh, I might wait on that one. Okay, let's get ten more people. Because, yeah, this way the population won't immediately put me in the hole. Okay, so the Debris got me that, and this is... Should be in a special area, so this can be moved. Can I build another one of those? Looks like it, but I'm not going to be able to get to that. Neither of these, really. Yeah, because there's stuff in the way. Okay. Uh, let's see. Food is looking good. The only immediate problem is water. Oh. I should probably prep this to be more farming. So why don't we why don't we get our remaining water up over where I was planning on getting it? Because I can get a water pump up here. Okay, and then need some power. Perfect. Wow, we've actually burned through a lot of our power supply already, but now we've got decent chunks of water. So I can get those two and get some more people. Huh. So I got a double TNT. Or I can fill some stuff in. Or I can do a bit of both. Yeah, can I terraform and uh, terraform one area and destroy two mountains simultaneously? Kind of. Not the most comfortably, though. 
Yeah, the question is, do I want to destroy here so I can kind of expand to the right? Or... Maybe over here? That doesn't give me access to anything. Unfortunately, all of these are a little... Eh. They're in my way, and I was hoping I could get something else. I think I'm, I, I think I'm just going to save these. And then we'll just be patient. Do I want to get two more farms over here? I might have to. Hey, can you make a lake? I think these little ponds are the best I've got as far as lakes go. Let's see, is this game purely being played with mouse or is it forcing you to use hotkeys for some things? No, it's just purely mouse. Okay, thriving settlement. Pick a specialist. Oh. Refined metals and glass are returned in full after demolish. Grants 3% per turn passive income from all of your colony funds. Unlocks the International Space Fund. Or more trading proposals. Increasing increases now. Let's go for the banker. Okay, so now I just have interest. That's rad. Uh, the only immediate problem is we're going to have to worry about morale at some point, but I have a hell of a lot more stuff going on, including a community center and then the underground expansion, both of which feels feel like they're going to be the most interesting things I can possibly do. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, first and foremost, take a look at a house. So a house consider, uh, requires less power, but cannot be built on grass. Okay, and the community center requires some glass. Oh, whoops. Production glass refinery. I think that I'm just gonna stick. Oh. It can only be built on. Oh, this? All the way down here. Well, then, never mind, that ain't happening. What is this? What are you? What is. What does this do? I'm gonna just put that there. Ah, it gets me another mineral deposit. So it's good for a factory. Resource is waste? Wait, wasted? Oh. I guess we ran out. Well, lucky me, we got an another one. Uh, produ production. Okay, here we go. I'm going to need another factory. So apparently you can run out of those. I didn't realize. Oh, it's fine. Otherwise, everything is good. We're gonna need, we're gonna need another farm. If he spot for it. Yeah, I'll just do some reinforced pipes so we don't have to worry. And at least we're kind of stable for the time being. We've got a little bit more tech, and yeah, we do have this, but not really worth it. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to have to wait for the glass to show up before I start messing around with morale. So what is this game? It's a turn-based strategy game, building a colony and managing resources. Pretty much, yeah. So my goal is to make 20 different hydroponic farms, and then also, you know, build a somewhat stable colony. Okay, oh right, terraform trading. Oh. So I need, I need some space, but I can actually spend money and, and the landing pad to buy these. Thing is, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let that interest stack up. Uh, because effectively the banker is going to get me some amount of money per turn, and I kind of want to wait until I have enough saved up so that that I can actually afford everything. Oh wait, hold up. Nah. I'm actually going to destroy these two. That is going to mess up a little bit of my power generation, but we don't care that much. Um, we want to start clearing out this area so we can turn it into hydroponic farming territory. 
Uh, let's see. So we want to take a look at this elevator. Oh boy, I need glass. Unfortunately, my glass is, yeah, too far away. Let's see, so I could do that. That would get us a little bit more. I'm just going to do that for the time being. But mostly we're just waiting for more glass. We don't have more people. Can't have more people. Uh, let's see. Okay. Not exactly in the same vein. Oh, I see. It has just an AOE happiness. So I think I'll put that there. And we are having a slight population issue. Fine. I'll just put that there for the time being. Morale is up. Oh, power is going down. Uh, I should fix that. Not enough resources. Let me guess. Lack of glass? Yeah. Okay. So, here's the earth. Round. Oh, it needs to be a hole and then two mountains. Or no. Three holes in a row. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I actually want any of those. Uh, let's see about this. Can I use this to get in, in here? Not easily. I can fill this in. It's not great, but I guess it'll have to do. Uh, let's see. So our power, power is looking a little worse. Oh, right. But I'll fix that when I. When I can, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna let my uh, Martian credits stack up. We are just going to be, uh, we're just gonna coast off of the interest, unless one of these is like absolutely incredible. But I don't think so. Oh, I I did buy it. Did I? Oh no. Oh. I undid it. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about that. We'll, uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. This is a little bit more valuable, but it is so expensive. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Because this does a couple of things. Now we can actually go underground. Uh... If I had the glass. Oh, creates an explosion, forms a canyon. E. At the very least, I can build this here. Now we just need to extend power all the way down. But I've got enough materials that I can do so freely. Let's see, anything else? No, not really. I think the other thing I, I'd want to do... Which we can't do at the moment. Uh, is actually save up and grab the ter uh, the commerce upgrade? Maybe? Because I think if I could actually start selling some of my spare resources, uh, that would actually go a very long way. Yeah, what's my income at? Eh, decent from the banker. And yeah, I appreciate the subsidy. As making my life easier. Um... No. I think we're just going to have to wait. I could kind of speed it along and upgrade my population, but we need 100 people before we do anything else with this. Uh, and that's kind of... Eh. So this would let me clear something and fill in two spots. Actually, right here? It's not bad.
Otherwise, we could clear these two spots and kind of unlock this whole area. Which is maybe more useful. Let's do that for the time being. Because that also gets me closer to eventually filling in one of these holes, maybe? And actually being able to make glass. Because I currently cannot, and that is shocking. Oh, for a max. I'm just going to turn this sucker off for a while. Ah, 12 mining cycles left. Oh. Oh. Building progress. You can actually upgrade these. Huh. But it needs refineries, factories, and depots surrounding it. Might actually be something to consider for now. Ah, uh, but for now it doesn't really matter. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. I was going to make... One of these down here. Do we just need power? I guess so. Okay, we still don't have any more people, but it's fine. Give me that money. What happens if you put a pond next to a pond? As far as I know, nothing. Okay, so debris gets me some tech bits. Let's see. Fill in some mountains. Actually, maybe? Let's just do that. Yeah, we almost have access to this whole map. Here's the question. If we take a look at this, is there any that are just like dirt cheap and reasonably good? Yeah, do I want to buy... Do I want to buy that? Maybe? Like, I'm making... I'm making plenty of money. We'll snag that. So this gets me a free terraform... Well, free. An extra terraforming bit. Which I can then use... To clear this out. Which means I can finally make... The glass refinery. At long last! Oh, I'm going to have to stretch some... Utilities down here to get, get this thing working. Oh, baby, it needs pipes. Oh. There we go. Okay, other things that it could potentially use would be like a uh, glass depot. Which I guess gets a bit of a bonus, but not a huge one. So controls. Increases happiness. Oh, you can actually move the bonus. Huh. Well, that's kind of nice. I didn't know you could do that. But no, our next, our next goal is to get enough supplies. Wow. What did I spend my money on? Oh, right. Pipes. Uh, in that case, do we want to get a mineral deposit next to it? Gives it a bit of a bonus. Okay. And Anomaly gets me some silicon. Oh, right. And we have that, too. We'll get to that in a second. Put that there. And that's going to need... Let me guess. The reinforced power line? Yeah. Pricey. But we got it. Okay, and then we're going to need pipes. And I do not have the juice for that. Ouch. Oh, it's fine. It's worth it. I want to see what we have down down below. Ah, so beyond that, we want to kind of terraform. That might not be a bad idea. What else do we have? And where can I put it? Because I could also do this. Yeah, 
because that's that's going to take a, a long time to get it rolling. I guess if I do that right there, that gives me a little bit more. I'm still working on building this thing up. But it's fine. Wait another turn. I wonder if I get another specialist. Let's say you can take a look at this. Yeah, it does look like we get another specialist every X number of people. I don't know what parties are. Temporary boost to, ah, to morale. Okay, well, I think for now this is a good enough stopping point. Uh, the specialist, by the way, the banker, absolutely absurd. Compound interest really carried the rest of this uh, run. I, I actually stuck it out and played for the three, uh, the full three hours to get to the end. I was thinking that I just needed uh, farms on the surface, but no, I need underground hydroponic farms to actually win this one. So uh, that took a little longer than I expected, but it was a lot of fun and it was kind of an interesting challenge. Uh, Farlanders is charming. It really does remind me of the old Outpost games, but slightly less fiddly and punishing. Uh, but maybe I just need to go back and play the old Outpost games and realize that, no, I actually just was playing like a moron and didn't realize it at the time because I was 12. Uh, who knows? But anyway, it's fairly charming, and I had a lot of fun with the uh, the base experience. I'm kind of curious to see what the campaign mode is like, but eh, whatever. Uh, I'll get to that at some point, or yeah, I'd probably play it on my own. Uh, so I should probably mention that Farlanders is available on Steam now for 15 bucks, down to 13.50 at launch, and I think there's going to be at least some feedback and uh, improvement over the next you know couple months, uh, judging by some of the posts online. So hopefully it gets a couple more features at the very least. But for a lightweight little colony builder that doesn't really play like the rest, it's a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed uh, going underground, which I don't think is going to be in this video. Uh, so I guess, I don't know, stay tuned for that. I'll put the other two hours up as two separate episodes over the next couple days. I don't really do LPs anymore, but for this one I figured I might as well. So with that, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, Leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons to check out. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.